Welcome back, this is the Amma Jack, and today we have a Monster Ball Daily. Monster Ball on Suicidal is gonna kinda stink. We are gonna do this anyway. I'm gonna try. Uh, what was that message? I need to check this. I gotta check this. Hold up. It's very professional. The, the video just started. I could restart it, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, my sister wants the pictures I took of her earlier. It's that one and that one. She got a, a chair. And it's like a hanging, swinging chair thing. And she was terrified of it. Yeah, yeah, that's... <sighs> Suicidal as SWAT? Yeah, sure, as SWAT. Why not? We have to do the Dragon's Breath thing so we're gonna have to play a fire bug but i'm not doing fire bug on suicidal um let's get music on right around here is good wait gotta make sure we grab these i have uh i've been using i've been playing some a little bit off camera as you can see i hit 20. um still haven't beaten hell on earth with uh swat um, it'll 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 happen someday. Because you just don't have enough survivability. But I have been using the um, the armor and the can't be grabbed by clots because moving at normal speed while crouching is great and all, but I don't crouch like ever. And if I do, I don't really care about moving, you know. Right. I've been playing some hard, so I've uh, got to get used to the fact that stuff is faster now. I was doing some hard uh, SWAT runs off camera on a uh, server. Didn't really go so well. There was another SWAT in there, and I don't know. He might be new to Killing Floor, or it was on uh, a map that was kind of rough as well. So he kept dying and then like leaving, and then he'd come back, and then he'd die and leave again. And I'm like, well, you know, you should just stay so that you have money to spend on like. Upgrades and like, weapons, rather, and stuff, you know? But I ended up having to do it myself. Can I stop being messaged, please? So, a uh, little bit unused to uh, suicidal, all these the speed and all of that right now. Gotta kind of reacquaint myself with it. Oh, you're not. Because it's really hard to get acquainted. Not not hard, but it's it's very different if you're not used to it. The speed of uh, movement it's very different. I haven't done suicidal in a while, so I don't know. We'll we'll see how much of a difficulty spike this is compared to hard. I'm honestly not sure. That's the thing, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Very interesting. Somehow the okay, so we get to get our uh, in any way. nail gun now. I'm calling dibs on any handheld. That's enough ammunition there. We can go ahead. Oh, I didn't grab. Oh no, we need that. So yeah, I've been using this because uh, not being grabbed by clots and only taking health damage from sonic attacks instead of armor damage is kind of nice. And then the movement penalty Fancy for using iron sights. Around. I don't use iron sights and I don't crouch, so. Just kind of decided to not care about it. Maybe it's useful, but I don't. If I had the the riot shield and the what is it, Glock, the G18 or whatever it is. If I had that, then you know, perhaps I'd be like, oh yeah, give me that, because I think that it counts as crouching when you're using it, or you'd want to be crouching because it blocks off some of the like lower attacks, like the uh, the crawlers. I'm not sure. I don't have that DLC, so I don't know what uh, it's like to use it, you know? Dusted. It makes such a satisfying noise when you, uh, when you shoot stuff with the nail gun, too. That, like, crunching is just beautiful, you know? Love it. Oh, 
stuck in a well. It really just annihilates groups of enemies, though. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, SWAT's not really that great compared to Commando, because it's just like a worse Commando, but maybe it isn't. I haven't used this nail gun before, and it's definitely holding its own, so maybe it has its spot. You know? But at the same time, I'm like, does it, though? Because <laughs> it can take out the big Zeds pretty easily. Um, Hell on Earth, solo. It was taking down Flesh Pounds like nothing. Found some ammo. But I'm like, I don't know. On, on six-man life, is it, is it still going to be destroying them like that? And it uses a lot of ammunition to do it, because each one of those is firing three. Really it takes like quite a number of those nice. to um, actually do anything. So it's not like a economically friendly, like, flesh pound killer, you know? Even though it can do it. And then it's just a worse trash killer than Commando, so... I don't know. It is a fun class, though. I like using it because of the sounds that the uh, the SMGs make. And then this is also, like, same thing. I just I love the sound that this makes. It's amazing. That, that crunching sound is it. Pierces through everything. It's just... Like, that's what I play this game for. It's... An amazing sound design. That and also everything else. <laughs> Pretty much. I did uh, another Hell on Earth run on the Kukiri Forest. And I got the Patriarch again. And literally did the same thing. And I'm like, okay. SWAT's just not as tanky as like Medic. Or, yeah. Like, this guy should get dusted pretty easily. But it does use up quite a quite a few bullets to do it. And this is only suicidal, you know. I don't know what the health difference is between suicidal and uh, hell on earth, but should be different, right? It does it does kind of annihilate them though? Just shreds them. It's very nice. Cause that was like a real flesh pound, and time to kill was basically nothing. We upgrade this again? Yes, we can. Yeah, I'm going for the, uh, the Chris with it. And uh, that seems to work out pretty well. But at the same time, if I'm not bad, then I don't need another weapon. Yeah, just gotta aim. Don't be bad. And then you don't need uh, another weapon. Works out. Where? That's how we do it in I love the uh, these guys because they make the stalkers visible. You know, it's amazing, and they like damage the Zeds as they walk through it too. It's like not really doing anything to me unless you get overwhelmed by them. Then they kind of stink. Ah, uh, get it. But, for the most part, they're just like, free damage and free visibility, you know? You want seconds? They're wonderful. Hard is being like, a little bit too easy for me now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing too many hard runs anymore. Definitely online, still want to do hard, because, uh... Having more people in the team makes it harder to... Oh, boy. Having more people in the team makes it harder to actually operate. Oh, boy. Because 
Because people are bad. You know? Like, they're just bad at this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do we have ammo anywhere? We need ammo. We need ammo desperately. We're probably going to have to parry a few of these. Uh, run through this. I should have activated it on the other side, but I didn't because I'm bad. That's okay. Yeah, it really annihilates them. It tears through them when you have ammunition. It's just, uh... It, it usually cuts it pretty close for me. Oh, yeah. Like, what, what I have a problem with is I, I'm going to tap it, and I'm going to fire, like, two usually, right? To solve your problems. How like, you have to really make sure you're, you're tapping it, you know? You can't you need the right hold it down at all. Right job. So it's a little bit... Is this the... Boss fight? Is it is the boss fight. It is time for dying. Who do we got? This should be over to uh, the right of where we are right now. Abomination is no big deal with this gun. I thought he was over here. This thing has torn through it in the test that I've done. Once his armor's off, he should pretty much just melt. He does have a, a fair bit of armor, though. And you gotta tear it through, like, his face armor. And then, uh... Oop, we're stuck on something. I don't want to be stuck on anything. And he should basically just get melted. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that damage. Oh. Yeah. That feels good. This guy in the King Flesh Pound get pretty much just destroyed by this weapon. The, uh, the patty, I'm still trying to figure out how to fight it on SWAT. And I haven't had Hans on uh, on a harder difficulty yet, so we'll have to see how that goes. Well, that's going to be it for this video, so uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. We are going to have to start doing seven round things because I'm just getting too good. I'm getting too good. They're being too short. Anyway, see ya. Bye-bye.